Hey everyone, Dr. Mary here. For today's adventure, we're going to Illinois, specifically Atlas, Illinois, in Pike County. Some five or six miles northeast of Louisiana, Missouri, across the Mississippi River in the state of Illinois, it is a small country town at a crossroads, the intersection of U.S. Federal Route 54 and Illinois State Route 96. This is the unincorporated community of Atlas. At the northwest corner of the intersection is a large, old, red brick house with a monument in the front yard. The monument consists of a plaque embedded in a granite boulder. Let's let the monument begin the story. Atlas, site of the first permanent seat of justice in Pike County. This section, settled in 1820 by Ebenezer Franklin, Daniel Shin, and the four Ross brothers, was known as Ross Settlement until 1823 when it was named Atlas. Pursuant to an act passed by the Illinois legislature in session at Vandalia in 1822, Atlas was selected as the site of the first permanent seat of justice in Pike County, which at that time included all of Illinois, north of the Illinois and Kankakee Rivers. The site on Section 27 was deeded to the county by Mr. Ross and Rufus Brown. The county seat was moved to Pittsfield in 1836. Erected by Nancy Ross Chapter, Daughters of the American Revolution, October 3, 1935. There's more to this story than meets the eye. Let's take a look. Whereas the territory that would become the state of Missouri was part of the Louisiana Purchase, the area that would become the state of Illinois was part of what was called the Northwest Territory, also known as the Old Northwest and, formally, the territory northwest of the River Ohio. The United States acquired this region as a result of the Treaty of Paris in 1783. The Continental Congress passed the Northwest Ordinance in 1787, which, among other things, allowed soldiers to be paid off and land here for their service. The Continental Congress had no authority to tax, and so sales of land in the Old Northwest were intended to help fund the government. In 1789, the U.S. federal government was formed, and Congress renewed the ordinance with little change, creating the Northwest Ordinance of 1789. In the area of present-day Atlas, in the spring of 1820, Ebenezer Franklin and Daniel Shin and their families were first to settle in this far western portion of the Old Northwest. This location is a good place to settle. It's just at the edge of the Mississippi River floodplain, at the foot of a hill where a creek flows down a small valley off the upland toward the river. Atlas today is only some five or six miles away from the Mississippi River. Soon to arrive, in the fall of 1820, were the four Ross brothers. Leonard Ross had been a captain in the War of 1812 and bought Northwest Territory land, taking advantage of the federal government arrangement. He and three of his brothers came to Illinois and founded the community of Ross Settlement. His brother William built the first red brick house in 1821. The trick was to make a community grow and thrive. The area of Ross Settlement was beautiful as well as practical and people came to settle here. Illinois as a state was just getting started. It was only admitted as a state in 1818 and was still getting organized. In 1821, when Pike County was established, the county had a tremendous amount of territory and the creation of other counties out of it eventually whittled Pike County down to size. Initially, in 1821, Coles Grove was named the temporary seat of justice for Pike County. After some political wrangling, the permanent designation was given to the area of Ross Settlement a year and a half later, in 1822. Apparently, during that year and a half, there were some rather complicated political maneuverings, which resulted not only in the confirmation of the area of Ross Settlement receiving the permanent seat of justice, but which also rid Illinois of slavery, too. The town of Atlas was founded near Ross Settlement in 1823, platted by William Ross and Rufus Brown, and the courthouse that had been erected in Coles Grove was taken apart and moved to Atlas. And when Calhoun County was carved out of Pike County in 1825, Coles Grove was passed over again as county seat and eventually faded away. But Atlas was not destined to remain the county seat. In 1833, the state legislature appointed a commission which determined that the county seat for Pike County should be closer to the center of the county. 
Atlas lost the county seat designation to the new town of Pittsfield, which was founded explicitly to serve as county seat, and Atlas subsequently became the crossroads country community it is today. As a side note, in 1839, just three years after Pittsfield became the county seat of Pike County, when the Latter-day Saints were expelled from Missouri as a result of the 1838 Mormon War, they came to Quincy, Illinois, which is not far from Atlas. To help with their move, one of their leaders, Brigham Young, stayed for a time at the red brick house that remains on the site in Atlas. The more you look, the more you see. We've only looked at the surface of several interesting topics in this brief episode. I invite you to explore further such fascinating stories as the Continental Congress, the end of the American Revolutionary War and the 1783 Treaty of Paris, the Northwest Ordinance and the territory northwest of the River Ohio, and 19th century Illinois political history. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Until next time, stay safe and travel well.